I got a 2000, uh, uh, 2007 uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. I'm going to be installing the radio and actually I'm going to install an amps also but I don't have time to do a video so I'm going to start showing how to remove the stereo first. In order to do this you will need this uh, door trim remover. You can uh, gonna start I kind of start and kind of pull it a little bit but uh, really I'm gonna show you how to do that but in the beginning you want to start from here or there it doesn't matter where you want to start it at on door trim remover you want to start from the bottom right here and pry it like so but instead of using that I use my professional tools start from here since I'm doing one hand that's why I kind of show you right there you want to Keep moving from there, pop it a little bit, no more than half an inch, keep cupped, and then down right there, and then come down here and pop it, and then once this pop a little bit, I haven't started on here yet, do it right here a little bit, make sure you're not damaging this uh, old, uh, right there, once you get that out right there, you, you see the screw right here, right? There's a Phillip right there. There's another Phillip. You can stop right there so you don't have to take everything out. And then you got two right here. You want to take it out. I'm going to start here. Phillips. And another Phillips. Take that out. And one right here because you got to get this out. So right here. Take that out. Oop, it dropped because I have used one hand down here somewhere, so make sure it's not. And then you can take a door trim remover and go start from here and keep prying it out. As you can see right there. It's harder to get to right there. I don't want to pull this out. You can pull the whole thing out if you want. If it's too much for you, take the whole thing out. But it's just a little bit more work for you. Now, once you get the uh, screw right there, the, this one out and this one out, you want to grab your f uh, finger or your forefinger, your thumb right there. Kind of make sure you're not pulling over an inches. What I mean by that, when you pull it, if you pull right here, you're good. But you pull right there, you can break something right there. That's more than an inch and a half. All anytime you pull something you want to make sure you stop at about half an inch so i'm going to pull it like right so kind of shake it a little bit and then it should come out like that and then you're gonna now you're gonna lift this up and make sure this is not gonna hold on that one and then you can unplug this part the best thing to do is to pull this air back out first right there push it down the clip and then pull it out and then now you can get this out. You don't have to take anything out if you don't want to. You don't have to. So now you got the, uh, ooh, I'm not sure what size this is. That look like uh, 7 or 8 millimeter. Let me check that out. Yes, it's 8 millimeter right there. I don't want to drop that. So take it and put it right here. Take all four of them out. One, two, three, and four right here. Now before you do everything, you want to press eject so any OCD that you had in there, it can be taken out instead of the customer call you back and say, hey, or you like, oh, I forgot my CD. So now you just pick it up, pull it out, and pick it up right here, this way, and turn it around, and then push the clip like I did on the other one earlier, and then just pull the two plug out. Now... Now, I forgot to mention that you need to pull this blue lock tab right there. Pull it out first using a, a flat head or if you got a good fingernail, just push it out. I couldn't do it. I'm going to have to use a flat head. So what you need to do, you want to take a flat head. And pry it out. And then... You're going to push this button in and then pull it straight out. Push in and then pull out with two fingers because I can't do with this. I don't have enough strength. 
I want to mention it again so once you pry this out right here the blue clip push this black down and then pull it out and that is it this thing is like a Chevy uh, uh, harness so we can find a Chevy harness I'm gonna find you tell you what the uh, harness is the model of it uh, the wine harness that I need is 70 7302 I'm just gonna match the color they all color coded to the radio you want to install I installed the wine harness already and I just match the color as you can see right there green black green they're all the same color red black yellow the only thing that I will want to explain to you is depend on your radio blue and white is a remote turn on so if you if you plug if you forgot to plug this thing in and you got a built-in amplifier the amps not turn on which means the sound is not coming on you need to hook up this blue white to the blue white of this harness this model doesn't have it on here it's on here I'm still gonna do it anyway I'm still on amp also but I'm still gonna do it anyway I'm not gonna do it yet because this on the radio right here I can't pull it out I read it wrong earlier. The mounting kit would be 997325 b It's for 07 to 12 Hyundai Santa Fe single DIN. And if you want a double DIN, you need a 95-7325B. So if I can cut it already, I pulled it out. It's going to look about the same right here. You see? You always want to match it. See right there? That's the same. Sorry for the background. But uh, anyway, and uh, single den piece right there. Or if you want to do like stuff like this, you don't want to mount it permanently. That way you can change the radio anytime. You remove this front uh, beauty ring out by pushing this and this up and then push it out like so. And then use the uh, bracket. It's called the uh, right here. The metal bracket and put it in there first I'll show you on that if you want to you can always push the middle one in like this so you can go in and push that in also and go in like so so once it's in what you want to do you want to take a flathead and pry this down right here and that down so it this thing won't come out right here oh you get that all done and you put it in, it, even though it's a double den, single den, it's the same way to hook it up. Put it in like so. And put the screw all back in, all four screw. So now I got all four bolts in. I'm going to pull this, this top wire is on the top. That's for the airbag. And then this two wire, I'm going to use that wire that I, I plugged in, that I crimped. And I'm just going to plug it in there. So now you got everything plugged in, the yellow plug, the speaker plug, and then uh, this is antenna right there. You want to pull it out a little bit. I'm going to put the radio in. Now I did hook up the uh, blue on this car. You see the, uh, on this radio, it's a Jensen, older Jensen. You see they come out with the blue and white remote right here, and I got a subwoofer output to the jack, and I hook up my remote wire. I'm going to push it in. By the way, don't forget the uh, antenna right there. 